DIY Rye back at it again. <laughs> good morning, everybody. It is good morning. <laughs> no, no. It is Wednesday. It is about one o'clock in the afternoon. So it's no longer morning. Definitely not, but this is the first time I'm picking up the camera today. I went for a run this morning, bright and early, super productive, got a coffee, went to the shop, got some toilet roll, stuff you didn't need to know. Anyway, so that happened this morning, and then I had someone round to sort something in my hallway. I have lighting in my hallway, I'll show you in a minute, but I am now super hungry. It took a really long time, basically. The lighting, because this place was like, I call it a base reno. It's Maybe more than a base runner because this is a nice kitchen new kitchen new bathroom plaster walls floors and then there's like lighting and i would say like in the newer parts of the house like the bathroom and kitchen there's like lovely lovely lighting well i picked those but like pendant lighting they installed that and it's all like nice but all of the old areas where there's lighting that just it's kind of just been like thrown together a little bit and just done very kind of like cheaply but whenever i go to then install some nice kind of pendant lighting for example it's always a little bit more tricky and we kind of have to take things up into the loft space which is fine i'm getting very used to that needing to be done now like i'm like oh yeah that's happened before very i know what you're talking about very used to that so yeah that happened and it did take a little bit longer and i think each light is done slightly differently because nothing is like uniform in the older parts of the house so yeah a little bit annoying and it's taken up a bit more of my day than i would ideally have liked so it is what is the time? It's nearly two. It's like one, it's nearly two. I'm well overdue my afternoon smoothie and I actually have run out of bits for it. So like specifically bananas, I'm missing bananas and that is like doom. So I'm gonna run out to Asda and just pick up some bits because my fridge is looking a little empty anyway. I've been staying at Ryan's a lot lately and it does mean that like when things get used up here, they don't get replaced straight away because there'll be things that I replace, but they're at his. And yeah, I'm just in need of going to the shop and picking up some bits. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna come back, have my smoothie, and then I'm gonna unbox these with you because they arrived from Netsporter and I'm very excited. Oh, that color oh it's got no vegetables in it that's why <laughs> forgot to get the spinach or kale or any kind of vegetable oh well this is gonna taste great though so uh, i need to take my headphones off please bear with me does anyone else just like never listen to music out loud anymore like i just always have my airpods in where was i so uh, i'm gonna show you some of the things that i picked up off netaporta nothing like outrageous but i needed some new glasses and i just could not decide on a pair of glasses and there was one pair that I kept going back to which are like they're expensive but not as expensive as some other pairs that I was looking at from other brands and just decided to go for that pair so that is in here and then I also have some workout outfits I actually picked up a couple of new things I think you will have seen the gingham set I'm gonna do a workout with me soon and I'll show you everything on and I'll kind of do a workouts of the week but also what I'm wearing I feel like that could be good um so you'll see everything on but I picked up the cutest little like sports bra and legging well it's not a set I picked up some leggings as well and they're basically the leggings versions of the cycle shorts I'm wearing right now which if you guys have seen my cycle shorts before they're from girlfriend just a really great like affordable it's one of those like mid-range brands but they're sustainable and I really really like them I really rate them and I love my cycle shorts I wear them all the time if you watch the vlogs you'll know and basically long story short I picked up some leggings from Varley of Netta Porter, which I liked. I showed you last last week. I'm gonna say last week in the vlog. They had this line that kind of almost accentuates floating, which I didn't love. And I know I love kind of the structure and fit of girlfriend leggings. So I was like, when they come back in stock, I will pick the legging version of my cycle shorts up because I know that I like the fit and the quality is great. The Varley ones are a bit like thin and almost like look like they are, they're gonna go bobbly soon already they have like a much more like textured feel whereas these are much more like that stretchy really smooth material like i don't is it like curry i don't really know they don't have a shine to them and that's what i like is like the feel of like a good solid sports pair of leggings without the kind of shininess but the other ones kind of 
don't have any shine they're fully matte leggings but they're very like thin and almost like felt like they just have that kind of almost texture to it if you wear a lot of leggings you'll know what i mean so basically net a porte restocked and i was like I am there, I am there, and I was so excited. So I think they've also restocked my cycle shorts as well. I think they might have gone back out already, but I will link whatever I can in the info box. I am so, God, I'm gonna chop my finger off. No, that's not what I was gonna say. I'm so excited to see this sports top in particular. It's so cute. This brand I really liked, and I've not really looked at much from them before on Etta Porte, but I think I used to have a swim costume from them, and I really rated it. But yeah. I love what they do and they also do this like set that is leopard print like top and bottom and I think it's so cute but I was really not sure whether to pick it up so I'll link it let me know if you think I should get it because I was like oh I don't know and obviously this is like not the cheapest like this isn't like my H&M workout wear if that makes sense so I didn't want to spend too much money in one go yeah we have my girlfriend leggings actually look like they could be a decent length obviously with my height i struggle a little bit but i don't really mind rolling things up and then oh, so cute it's actually more neutral than i thought it was going to be but oh my god how cute is that i love it i love it it's very like thin there's not not even like padding in this which is actually great because it means that i can layer it like i've got two sports bras layered today because i've got one that kind of like holds my boobs in place and then it's like a neon which i don't love so i always put like something else over the top so this could be one that i could throw on over the top of the neon sports bra who knows i like the fact that it has adjustable straps it's got like gold detailing which is lovely it's just nice when there's like, like those little bits of attention to detail i just love this print and that is so beautiful and they do leggings of these as well do they do i think they do a cycle short as well maybe that's just the leopard print version but i didn't want to like necessarily go too matchy matchy with this print so yeah very excited for those i think i might be going to the gym tomorrow so i'll let you know how that goes no i won't be going to the gym tomorrow it's hair day tomorrow which actually you might see the hair vlog before you see this i'm not entirely sure i actually don't know what is going to go down tomorrow so i'm actually very excited literally buzzing i feel like my life almost feels like it's going back to normal i've actually had something like some little thing scheduled like every day this week i haven't overdone it i've literally even if it's one thing per day like tonight i have a dinner i'm trying not to like double up on things i know it sounds really silly but just kind of helping me get back to normal like yesterday i didn't really have much on but i knew i had to drop my glasses to the opticians in the morning so that was like my day and i kind of made sure to not really do anything else just because otherwise i feel like i'm definitely going to forget things and i'm just going to feel a bit, little bit overwhelmed by my calendar which i know it sounds really silly because there's probably a lot of people out there juggling way more but after months and months of literally having like an empty calendar and nothing on well house move in lockdown slightly stressful but apart from that i've had literally like nothing on so yeah i'm just trying to like go back to normal so i picked up these basically i have my ray-bans which i love i'm never getting rid of that pair of frames so what i will say is i've had the lenses in them replaced quite a few times so they might not survive the next ordeal of having new lenses put into them regardless of that i wanted to get a second pair anyway because i would like to keep a pair in my car or even just like have one pair that's like say by my bed and then one that's always in my bag so that i just always have a pair of glasses even if one ends up being at ryan's and one's at mine at least like i'm i've got glasses in multiple places in case i forget mine i think i'm probably going to try and get into contacts at some point but until then i just think it's so useful to have more than one pair of glasses and i picked these up so these are just like quite discreet and i really like them for that because my other pair are like very round and they're just really there you know but these are like cute like almost like a a little bit of a cat eye they're reflecting a lot at the moment i don't think they're going to reflect so much like once these like weird lenses are off because i can't really see properly through these so weird i don't know how anyone wears like glasses for fashion <laughs> but yeah that is what my new pair of glasses looks like and i just thought i really like these i think they're gonna be really easy to throw on i like the fact that the frame is like a lot bigger and chunkier like if i hold them like this like i can hold them like this my other ones because they're round your hand kind of slips so handling them is really difficult and i get fingerprints on them a lot so i think these are just going to be a lot easier to handle like the arms are much easier to like grip my ones are like really thin on my ray-bans they're like really thin and kind of wiry so that they're, they're just flapping about all over the place so they're a really cool pair of glasses but not super practical whereas i feel like these are a little bit more practical 
but without being like a big brown pair of frames or a big black pair of frames which kind of take over my face like i feel like you can still really see my eye makeup with these on and you know my brows and everything still stand out it's not taking away from my makeup and it will go with like every single outfit whereas i don't feel like my ray-bans go with every outfit and i can just like flip between the two which i think would be great yeah i'm looking forward to trying these on i might throw this one on a few now maybe i'm not sure i need to actually do a few little worky bits and then i'm going up for dinner tonight I'm going for greek food which is my current fave it is so good and it's a little bit easier on like my skin my skin doesn't freak out if i have greek food whereas it definitely does if i have like chinese that is like <laughs> fully been written off my list of things that i just shouldn't eat at the moment for my skin which is looking kind of okay today but i feel like i really covered it well yesterday like i'm at the point where i think i've almost nailed breakout skin coverage in my makeup so i might do a little get ready with me for that at some point if you guys would like to see because i haven't really covered these so much today but yesterday i feel like i covered them really well it's been much better over the past like two weeks or so since i started was it two weeks maybe three since i started the skin diary and i feel like i'm really kind of like nailing what it is it's a mix of hormonal but also like food definitely exacerbates the situation i'm gonna go see my doctor about it i just i'm really struggling with the concept of going to the doctors during a pandemic and do i need to be one of the people taking up those slots probably not but it's definitely something that i do need to get looked at at some point basically minimal sugar minimal dairy like basically no dairy natural sugars i'm rolling with but artificial sugars are like an absolute mm -mm. that's been pretty old bread bread is a no sadly and what else have i cut out potatoes i've actually been having sweet potato but trying not to have like actual potatoes where possible but i'm not going to turn down a portion of chips and they're not freaking my skin out too much to what i can kind of like figure out through the skin diary basically just like junk food white carbs oh and soy i've been laying off soy as well because i actually started thinking about how much the breakouts have increased since like i've been being vegan more and been using more vegan substitutes and i wasn't really looking at what was in those substitutes but basically yeah any vegan substitutes that have soy i've been trying to lay off of yeah that is what's going on with my face at the moment you kind of didn't really need to know but yeah if you want to take a look at these i will link to them they're not the cheapest but if you love your workout wear like i love my workout wear I think you'll enjoy these. I thought I'd do a little try on whilst I'm changing before my dinner later anyway. I'm not going to show you the full shebang, but I just want to show you this sports bra because I think it's so cute and I'm really, really happy with it. I love it. It was actually a little bit difficult to get over my head, but now that it's on, like it's perfect fit, which is so weird. But I've had a Nike sports bra that's been a bit like that before as well, but I think it's going to be really supportive and it's so cute. I've done the straps up a little bit more, but it's so cute i'm so happy with it just love it when a plan comes together i love it when i order things and they're good fills me with so much joy so much joy so i'm about to sit down and do some work before i go out for dinner and i thought i'd show you what i've changed into i've got this little top on it's like a knitted kind of top from asos and it works really nicely with jeans skirts anything that is particularly high-waisted for me i find it's a really easy throw on also with my white linen shorts this creates a really beautiful texture as well but i've just paired it with my new in mom jeans a really old brown belt note to self buy a new belt update this one my chloe sandals because my feet have blisters and I wanted to wear like a tan shoe but my ysl ones sit right on the blister so yeah that is the outfit i've just kept my hair in this bun basically i'm trying not to wash my hair too much at the moment just trying to keep it as healthy as possible not overwash so i'm just like bunning it a lot of the time and i find it's really helping to like maintain the condition not too much heat styling all of that yeah so that is my outfit of the evening the one thing that i'm not sure on is whether i will manage to stay in jeans for long enough so i might end up switching into like some pretty little thing trackies i'm gonna see how i go i'm not feeling like too bloaty today i feel like it's starting to ease off so i might risk wearing jeans to dinner but i might also change into trackies last minute so we'll see you know when you just aren't sure how much you're gonna eat or whether you're going to need like an elastic waist. That is my OOTD that isn't a gym outfit. Oh, I almost forgot to show you my new lights. I'm probably not showing you at the best time of the day because I feel like earlier in the morning this is a much nicer lit space. I am so happy with these. It's taken a long time to get them up but literally I could not be happier 
they are gorgeous so for anyone that doesn't know where these are from these were in a zara haul a zara and h&m home haul very recently i'll link it below if you haven't seen it because if you like these you'll probably like most of the stuff that is in that haul but these are from zara home i think they were about 70 maybe 80 pounds but i love them i like the fact that they weren't just the lampshade like they came with the full fixing this house has horrible like old fixings in it now all i need to do is fill these i know they are still not full i've been really struggling to pick the final image like i know what i want to go in there apart from like well i know two of the three images basically and i just need to decide on the final one and then i would love to have just a very small kind of thin old kind of reclaimed oak beam just put in somewhere along here that runs under the pictures just to use as like a kind of place where you can pop things like keys and stuff like that so they're just always in the same place but also just like little really simple small tiny decorative bits i think could be really really beautiful but that will be probably for another time once i find the best place to get stuff like that because there's a lot of things that i want to use reclaimed wood for so if anyone has any suggestions i'm all ears and in terms of the reclaimed kind of wood i'm talking about i'm thinking like the really like rounded kind of stuff like where it's been kind of almost sanded off maybe with like a finish over the top so it's not rough anymore someone please let me know because all of this like interior stuff is still so new to me so sometimes i'm like saying this stuff and i'm like people probably think you're an idiot because you just don't know but i just don't know that is the thing and i'm learning and i think that <laughs> my videos and me asking you questions in them is like the one of the most helpful ways to learn things like even with things down to skin i learn so much when i ask questions in the blogs so hopefully no one thinks i'm an absolute moron i mean there probably are many people that think i'm an absolute moron not the point um if anyone does have any suggestions i mean you know the kind of like chunky kind of like wood style i'm talking about i would love your suggestions even if they are more spenny retailers still let me know because i want to kind of like explore all options but yeah that's what's going on so far in the house i need to do some work now because there's a brief that i really need to look at like asap so I'll see you in a bit. You chilling with your donut? Aww. You're so cute. So cute. Good morning, everybody. So, oh, my skin is not looking happy after Brian's birthday trip. I literally ate so much food that my skin just doesn't particularly like. Today is Friday. I haven't picked up the camera for this vlog in quite a while. I have some new home updates to show you this morning and I thought I would just chat to you a little bit quickly whilst I do my makeup. I basically do my makeup a little bit backwards now. I think I'm going to do a full tutorial on it now but to cover all my scarring I basically just do my routine almost the opposite way around and it's kind of working really well for me. So yeah let me know if you want a video on how I cover like my scarring. I don't really have like my acne breakouts so much now i literally have like the leftovers of them so i, I kind of want to film that potentially before they hopefully disappear well fingers crossed uh, that i manage to manage my skin a little bit better long term because if i can keep the breakouts at bay for a little bit longer then it means that this is all going to clear up and that would be lovely but yeah like i said today is friday we got back from a bath yesterday that's going to be in a different vlog that's coming up i just thought i would finish this one off because i started off talking about home updates and i have a couple more to show you and yeah this is probably going to be the last home updates vlog before the garden starts and i'm so so excited for that it's definitely going to still need bits doing to it it's not going to be perfect but it's going to be such an improvement on where we are at right now and it's just getting because of the heat and the sun it's just getting like more and more outrageous every day and i'm just like leaving it because um it's basically all being ripped up in 10 days it's less than 10 days i think it might be nine days what's the date today i don't know let's call it 10 days it'll be less than 10 days by the time you guys see this and that excites me so much i look a little bit weird right now but this will all come together one of the few times where i actually feel like i have something of value to contribute beauty wise because i don't always feel like i do but yeah so that is kind of where we are at today i hang on so yeah this morning i've just been feeling a little bit like out of sorts a little bit stressed so i just kind of like went to the gym just haven't really vlogged very much so yeah it is super super hot today so i'm gonna show you some of the bits that i picked up from ikea i kind of have already showed you in a vlog but i wanted to show you them now that they're actually in my house if you haven't seen that vlog i will 
link it but um basically i have them back in my house now because i did the haul at ryan's house and they're now like like the lamp is actually up i do think i want to go back and get more but i'm gonna wait until i start doing my wardrobe room or the office i don't know which one's coming first but yeah there's definitely i'll talk you through it but there's a few more bits that i want to get and some duplicates of stuff but yeah very happy with the bits i picked up i think in a little bit we are going to go down once i finish like chatting with you guys we're going to go down to the beach and have some chips and a drink and just uh chill out because it's like way too nice not to take advantage of this weather i'm also tempted to try this out whilst i do my makeup today to set my makeup it's the kate somerville spf 50 uncomplicated spf soft focus makeup setting spray this is apparently meant to be amazing it's normally out of stock everywhere but i actually there was an ad running on instagram instagram ads are really doing me a solid at the moment and it was like that in a bundle and then i thought i'd just check on the website and see if they had like the full size product in stock and they did and uh, so i bought four really excessive but you know if your mates like it as well like you know you want extra so that is my skin so far without even like the extra added steps on top so let me know if you want to see a full tutorial on how i cover my scarring you can still kind of see it a tiny bit but it really does like it makes so much difference i might even do like a video on like if i don't do the steps versus if i do the steps to kind of show you the difference but yeah i'm gonna probably speed you up for the rest of this because i feel like you know my everyday makeup so well but yeah i'm gonna speed you up quickly actually skipped a couple of steps i'll save it for the vid but that is the makeup that i'm going with today just like nice and easy didn't really do anything to my brows because i do them in the morning if i'm going to the gym i always do my brows and a tiny bit of lip liner just because i find that that if i've got sunglasses on like that's what you see and i don't really worry too much about my scarring if i've got like if i'm going to the gym because i just want my skin to be fresh but i like my brows to be done and my lips to be done so i always do that makes me feel like that little bit more pulled together especially the eyebrows like i can forego lips but like i love doing my eyebrows before i leave the house in the morning just because it just makes me look more pulled together it's literally like slick back bun do your brows and you can kind of get away with just like the fact that you've literally made zero effort especially if you just like add a little bit of like gel to the slick back bun as well so it's like really neat it just really polishes a look off without having to really do too much or have too much on your skin so i really rate that yeah i'm feeling a little bit out of sorts like literally running on empty nothing to give you which makes me so sad because i love vlogging but i'm just like struggling a little bit i think especially if you're feeling a bit stressed or whatever it always just really gets you and i'm also feeling a little bit empty at the moment in terms of like content that isn't home content like i really want to give you like some really cool fashion content and i literally like just can't even think of i think because obviously i've been so unadventurous over lockdown and we're all in a bit of a weird state where it's like some people are going on holiday and some people are not going on holiday so i kind of don't know what the vibe is <laughs> at the moment and i feel like people are creating less youtube videos in general as well i do have one idea which i'm really excited to get cracking on it's just whilst i'm vlogging it's really hard to like juggle so if i miss an upload at some point that might be why i'm just like getting a little bit ahead ahead of myself but if there's any like how to style videos that you would really like to see that are like summary or anything like that do let me know because i definitely just want to do a couple of like summary related videos but yeah that is my finished makeup let's go and look at my house and do all the housey things and get me some chips and a coke at the beach because that is what <laughs> that is what i'm really excited to do this afternoon this is the bikini if anyone wants to see the full bikini and ignore my washing on the side i just i just can't but yeah this is what it looks like it's cute i feel like my boobs at the moment are just like not playing so they're not really fitting in but it's a really really lovely bikini i feel like they've all sold out but i will link them if not i'm gonna sort that washing be right back uh -huh. Oh, is it a bit too hot for you today? Poor bunny. Step over her so that I can show you this little poof, like little kind of floor seat that I got from Ikea. I love this. I've actually recently seen a lot of people have like 
they'll have more than one and they'll kind of stack them on top of each other and i think it's really cool so i might have to get another one yeah i think these are going to be amazing to use in my garden as well once it is all redone i'm so excited to style that up but in the meantime they also look cool in here and when i get a new coffee table over here i plan on having like a bigger one and then i could have two of them as kind of like little floor seats and then the sofa kind of here and this won't be here so they won't encroach on it too much but yeah that is one of my little ikea purchases so we have the ikea lamp in my porchway a little bit kind of off center because it basically didn't hang very well and to get the actual shade to hang straight i had to do something weird with the light bulb it's not touching the sides guys so don't worry you don't panic it's fine but yeah it looks really cute like so so cute when you look in uh, when it's all lit up i really really love it and then you kind of walk in and then you see my new Zara home lamps. So nice. It's so much nicer than how it used to be. I will pop a video in of, I actually found a video of when this was all gray and how dark it looked. I will pop that on the screen now. Honestly, it's, it's shocking. So yeah, it just looks so much like nicer and lighter and brighter and like more warm and homely. So cute. So yeah, very very happy with all of my new lampshades like i'm just so pleased they're like all up now and yeah it's just nice to have everything feeling a little bit more done ryan's been having to remind me what we bought in ikea because i can remember this is my little gardening box i'm very happy with it it's much better than the other one i had that was basically made of like i think cardboard and it's actually a lot deeper as well so it's kind of housing everything a lot better so excited for the garden to be done it's gonna be the best i've actually had to move a few of my pumpkins outside they're not looking great i don't know if they'll survive but my lemon tree oh my god i haven't shown you my lemon tree it has flowers so we have loads of these little kind of like buds coming up and i've just got home to see these flowers were at the very top i wish i was taller so i could smell them ryan do you want to come test them and smell them because the orange tree smells amazing and we've also got where is baby lemon are you there baby lemon is there and honestly there's so many buds i can't wait for them all to open up it's looking so happy I need to give it some more citrus plant feed tomorrow but yay i don't know if i can reach it you can probably pull it down a bit more i don't want to break it that'll be a lemon i think go on get that one. Oh my god they smell like the orange tree they smell so nice don't they? i also forgot to show you this is the ikea basket that I got and I've just popped my cheese plant in it. This cheese plant is probably so root bound and definitely in need of repotting. I've had it for years. I've never really taken care of it properly, but I've just given it a big trim back. And yeah, it used to be huge, like bits growing up here. It is now in this giant jar filled with water and I'm gonna see if I can get it to grow new roots and kind of dip, pop it in a different kind of pot because this stem is now really strong and because we have taken all of the other cheese plant leaves off of it, it looks like it could kind of hold itself up and grow and be quite sturdy. I don't know if these would survive outside or not, but this is my little science experiment and I'm gonna see how it goes. Also got a few more <laughs> over here, which I'm gonna see if they kind of like grow new roots and if so then I'll plant them in various different places they need like a bit of a clean up and just some TLC but yeah I'm gonna see if I can have multiple cheese plants I'll keep you updated on how this goes Good morning everybody it is Monday I feel like I haven't seen you in a little while I've just been trying to decide what to wear today and I feel like we all know that I'm probably gonna end up in a bikini but torn between this or my knitted dresses. But before I show you what I'm gonna wear today, it could be a bikini because I'm honestly sweltering because I did decide to wear leggings to the gym. I normally wear shorts. It was a slight rookie mistake, but it was fine because the gym was air-conned, whereas my house is not. Everyone always talks about how the UK just can't cope with heat from other countries, but I'd like to remind everyone, you guys have air-con? We do not, like I am just sweltering. We have, everything is made to keep us warm here. <laughs> so it's just like, imagine living your life without any air-con yeah that's what we're currently going through so i am like tired cranky there is no sleep at the moment no one in the uk is sleeping <laughs> unless they have aircon in which case i'm so very very jealous of them i made the mistake of leaving my dyson fan at ryan's you can imagine last night how hot i was yeah but anyway the gym had aircon so very happy about that i thought i'd show you my workout outfit before i change outfit i've got the beach riot 
cute little palm tree top on. I did see if this would fit on under my running sports bra and it does not. I would say size up if you want to be able to squeeze in basically like two sports bras. And then I'm also wearing the girlfriend collective leggings. I've had to roll them up a bit because they are quite long. Like I've had to roll them twice because they are long on me, which is fine for winter, but in the summer I just need, I need for my ankles to breathe. So yeah, that is kind of the length of them. They could probably go longer than this. So if you're taller, these are an amazing option. And if you're smaller, they still roll up quite well. So I feel like everyone's a winner here, but I love them because they have the same seam at the back that kind of goes down, but unlike the Varley ones, they go straight at the front. Excuse my unpacking that I still need to do. Unpacking should be on 100 ways to die, like the top 100, it is just, it's really not my favorite thing. But yeah, anyway, these leggings have the seam straight across the front, which I don't think you'll be able to really see. I feel like sometimes you can see things better than I can in the viewfinder. So yeah, that is what the leggings are looking like. I really like these and they feel, they're basically like how my H&M ones were about four or five years ago. Obviously not as inexpensive as my H&M ones, but I feel like these are gonna last a really, really long time. The material feels great, the fit is great. I got these in a size small and yeah, just really, really rate them. So if you're looking for a good pair of leggings, I would highly recommend these. I felt these when I was getting these out the drawer this morning, I felt the Varley ones and I was like, Ugh. They are like, they're not cute. They're not, nowhere near as black, weirdly. And they have so much fluff on them. They just like attract any fluff that is on anything anywhere. Yeah, it's just not ideal. So you would have to have a lint roller at the ready. And if you have pets, just don't even bother. Ones like this, like this kind of material, it's got a slight sheen to it. They are amazing for if you have pets because fluff just doesn't cling to them in the same way. So yeah, I really, really, really recommend these. These and the cycle shorts are my absolute gym staples now. Hello, babes. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Right, so I think this is gonna be me for the day because I need to clean my house. Thank you. Thank you for that leg lick. <laughs> I need to clean my house, so this is going to be my OOTD, which is just like such a non-OOTD. The shirt might be out of stock. I will link it if it is in stock. It's from White Company and the bikini is from Mango. Yeah, I've got some serious tan issues going on here from the weekend. It's literally been so sunny and so hot and not even the sun cream could help me. I have like the most ridiculous tan now. I am tanned like here, not so much here, and from like here and then here is not because I wore shorts and yeah. Nice and simple because I'm just gonna be sweating whilst hoovering. I really wish I hadn't left my cleaning to today, but here we are. Also just been notified that this video is currently about like 26 minutes long. So I'm probably gonna wrap this up. But before I go, I did wanna quickly show you, I filmed a clip last night of what my boy lights look like when they're on because I was watching the footage back and I was like, oh my God, I didn't show you what they look like on. And they look so, so amazing when you turn them on. I really didn't do enough chat about the hallway lights. And honestly, they have just like made my life. The hallway lights and then the little like porch light. I'm just really, really loving. I feel like it's really helped like round everything off so yeah i will if you haven't seen that already i will insert it right now it just looks so magical like it looks like a christmas grotto with the lights on i am just like so so over the moon with it so yeah really really happy with that i also thought i'd update you on my lack of inspiration with fashion videos i've actually got quite a few ideas that i came up with last night i was up until like one in the morning like brainstorming ideas i'm really really excited for them but do still let me know if you have anything you'd like to see if there are any like updates on old videos that you would like to see, any revisits, anything like luxury related, but not like hauls, like what do you wanna know if it's worth it or even like high street, what do you wanna know? I really wanna do some fashion videos that are a little bit more helpful as opposed to just like hauls. I feel like I've, a light bulb has switched on in my brain and I actually have like video inspiration now. So I'm really, really excited about that. But yeah, that is probably gonna be it for me because I'm just sweating. I don't know if I'll film anything today for any future videos because I actually just feel like I'm sweating from every part of my face. It is so hot. So I am gonna leave you here. I'm gonna clean my house, become a very zen human being, fill my fridge with good food. I feel like I have been away for so long and like my past week has been like all about Ryan's birthday. And this always happens when it's my friend's birthdays, like close friends' birthdays, as well as like obviously Ryan. I always like basically kind of give the week to them and I'm like, we'll do whatever you wanna do, whatever you wanna do. And by the end of the week, I'm like, I haven't done anything that I should have done that is like my normal routine that kind of helps me 
feel like I'm in check. So literally my life feels like it's an absolute state at the moment. It's not, but it just feels really, really messy. And like I haven't been on top of things because I haven't. I literally have barely been at my house for like the past week, maybe longer. So yeah, my fridge was full of food that should not have been in the fridge and my bin was not cute. My garden, my garden was just, everything has died in the heat. It's so sad. So I'm gonna go tend to my everything. Nala's just gonna sit here and lick her paws all day apparently. Is this your day? Is this what your plans are? Surely your paws are clean by now, surely. Anyway, I'm gonna go because Lauren is probably watching this while she's editing it like, come on, finish the vlog. Yeah, you can tell I've had a coffee and I've been to the gym because I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling good. But yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Don't know when that will be. <laughs> Don't know what that is. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.